Um, well, it's something obviously we're very excited and proud to be able to do. It's been really a 12-month process of working together with the team to come up with a brand that we th think would be creative, innovative, but not too trendy, but have enough differences to have impact in the market, um, but also to meet the new market needs that there are, especially within across Asia, of people wanting to travel together, but also stay in a room that provides them some flexibility, whether they're staying as a, uh, a corporate person or as a group of friends or as a family. Well, I think one of the things that really sort of came out of the research is that there is this growing trend of people wanting to share accommodation spaces. And it's not always about trying to generate value of money. We're not trying to, we'll never, our intention has never been to come up with a brand that's cost effective. It's really a brand that's really designed around customers' needs. And one, a lot of feedback that we always got from our current Sharma properties is that people want to be able to share a space together, but they be able to want to make sure they can share it comfortably. So one of the things that we designed within the, the Sharma hub is to make sure that you can actually adapt the rooms to the different needs of the customers. So again, we've used the example of, of four girls coming together on a shopping holiday or shopping weekend, um, and then being able to transform the room rather into a one bed room, it can be actually sleep four people. Um, but the important thing is that we've designed this in such a way that it's not done in a way that four people don't get a great night's sleep. We've really focused on the quality of the beds and we've sort of developed this system that allows you to roll out a wall and then two extra beds will come down. And the good thing about that is that means those two extra beds have their own privacy as well and then the main bed have its privacy as well. And we've also taken that to how we've designed the bathroom. So we thought, well, if you've got four people sharing a room or three people sharing a room, how do you make sure that people aren't all sort of queuing up to, to use the amenities? So we've sort of separated the, the toilet from a bathroom and plus there's a, a further extra sink there. So it means that especially if there's a group of people getting ready to go out at night, um, there's enough sort of room for people to have their privacy and for people to get ready. Um, and then the other thing, we know that we've still got a very strong corporate demand as well. But we've seen a lot of people, rather than coming to stay in the service departments for three months or four months, is that they're just coming to stay for a week or so on a project. So we use the example of an interior designer coming to Bangkok um, to work on a project. And then he could sort of adapt his room to be able to use it for work as well, um, with tables that can pull out and extra seating, has the ability for him to invite guests up to his room to be able to show them the examples that he's got. Um, and again, allow, again, put the room back to allow it to make it come back into a more homely f feel to it. Um, well, yeah, we're very pleased that we've already had a couple of owners that had faith in the product before we launched it. We gave them the idea and they really bought into it. So we do have two in the pipeline in mainland China, which is a big uh, market focus for us. Um, but I think now, obviously, now that we've actually committed and built up a, a, a prototype room, um, today is really the start of how do we launch it into the broader market. And already from the owners that we've, we've shown uh, over the last few days, it's the feedback has been exceptionally positive. So it's now how do we start to convert those conversations into uh, management agreements. But we're very positive that we can sort of grow this brand within at least five or six sign-ups this year and then move forward from there. Um, but we do see it as an important part of our service department, apartment portfolio. Yeah, and I think that's a, a really important point. And again, you know, uh, the team were very passionate about making sure that we just don't do something cookie cutter. Um, and again, it comes back from feedback. If when people stay in a location, whether it's for a shorter or longer stay, they want to feel that they're actually in the location. Um, that location isn't just anywhere. Um, so what we've worked really hard in the design is say, how can we bring the locality into the product itself? And again, doing it in such a way that it's not trying to be, you know, try hard, it's not trying to be over trendy, it's brought into a way, a nice contemporary soft way, um, but it makes sure that you understand the, the environment that you're in. And also one of the clever things that we've done, we've got a table that sort of pulls down, but when that table is up flat, flat against the wall, there's a map of a city, and on there is a whole range of barcodes that you can actually read for all the sort of trendy food destinations, etc. And that again has got amazingly good feedback as well.